Okay, so I just want to talk about this illumination series of mandalas that I've been working on this past year. I don't honestly remember when I started the first piece, but I, I have this goal to finish the series by the end of this year, or at least finish what I've started by the end of this year. This was the first piece, and it was begun on a first Friday. I had pulled out some colored paper, a white pencil, drew it freehand, pulled out some whole bean. I, I believe these were whole bean brand gouache paints. And I painted this and I really liked the way that it had a mosaic feel to it. And I decided to do some more. Moving on, this is the second one that I did. And then these were the Windsor Newton gouache paints that, that I began to work with. I didn't want to work with the whole bean paints anymore. I found the Windsor Newton just had a completely different feel. Um, they were much more luxurious to work with and uh, not as pasty. They, they mixed better. This is just my own experience. Your mileage may vary. And then I began to add, um, I wanted to work with some, some uh, metallic paints. And so I acquired some Windsor Newton silver and gold. And I found that, you know, I mean, I really liked the way that, that they looked but I, there was like a, a, a pastiness to working with them. I just couldn't really find a, a happy way to work with them where they didn't look so streaky. So the, this was Windsor Newton, and there was actually a piece that came before this. So this was like one, two, and then the third one that I did, which had some of the metallic gold paint in it, was sold as soon as I finished it. So I wasn't going to um, say no to that, so I let that go to a new home. And then I believe this one was the one that I created after that. And then the rest of these, I'm not really sure what order they came in, but I started moving away from the Windsor Newton uh, metallic paints and I started working with these. These are from a company called FinTech and they are meant for illumination. So like if you were doing you know, illuminated uh, calligraphy book pages or whatever, they're really awesome to work with. They flow really well once you add water to them. Um, they're kind of on the expensive side. A set like this runs about uh, $25, $30. Um, and they, they don't have a lot in them. So, you know, I found myself kind of moving through them rather quickly. You can buy individual replacements. But so anyway, I feel that they, they just are a little bit nicer to work with and not as, you know, not having to kind of like fight the consistency of, of the, the metallic Windsor Newton gouache, which feels pasty to me. But that could just be because I'm not used to working with it. And if I worked with it more, I perhaps could find uh, a way to work with it that was smoother. So, and here's my, my gouache palette for, <laughs> um, for these pieces, you know, Chinese soup lid. Uh, Chinese takeout soup lid and this is just me working with ultramarine and white and mixing it into as many shades as possible in the beginning I wasn't I didn't have as many as many shades and then as I kind of moved on I started to to find um, more and more that I was comfortable with and so these are some of the the later pieces I just love that this makes me really happy and some more. They're all 11 by 14 with the exception of the very first one, this one here, which is a little bit bigger than that. So uh, I'm sorry. These are in 11 by 14 sleeves. They're a little bit smaller than 11 by 14. I buy the berry paper in large sheets and then I, I fold it down and, and tear it. And so these are the sizes that result of that. And then over here, this is the one I just finished up today. This had been hanging out there and I decided, you know what, I'd really like to, I'd really like to kind of finish all the ones that I started for this year. With a birthday on the last day of the year, it always makes me feel like I kind of want to have some closure in some of the things I'm doing. So you can see I started to incorporate a, a, a lot more um, dimensionality and, and using different different shades of the blue and the white. And then this one here is the, the last one I have that has not been started yet. 
And so um, I guess I've got about 11 days to, to paint this one. And I think I will because, like I said, I'd like to, I would like to, to feel like there was some closure with this series. So there you go, illumination pieces. They are all, of course, available for purchase. Um, but I was contemplating in the new year perhaps exhibiting them somewhere. So we'll see what happens. Enjoy your day.